So I'm gonna make tonight a maple bourbon cocktail. So what I've got in my shaker is I've got some bourbon. I had an orange, so I squeezed it. So nothing better than fresh squeezed orange juice, maple syrup, use the good stuff. Don't use the imitation like pancake syrup stuff. You make sure you use the really good maple syrup. Um, I got mine at Aldi and actually to keep it from uh, uh, going bad, you keep it in the, in the fridge. I never knew that all these years. So anyway, so I keep that in the fridge. I've also um, got uh, some um, bitters. They make orange and they make all kinds of flavors. But this is, I believe it's from Venezuela is, is the origination of it. It's a, it's a very old product, but it is bitter. And um, if you tasted it on its own, it would just taste better. But it just adds that little something something to a cocktail. So in there, I, I've got those. I've got myself a orange peel as a garnish. So I just took my regular, you know, carrot potato peeler and did that and then I'm also gonna zhuzh it up here with some of the Luxardo maraschino cherries. And those are different than the other maraschino cherries. These you don't refrigerate. Um, this is in a uh, Maraska syrup. So it's a, it's a really thick syrup. And apparently you can also, this company makes a, um, uh, a liqueur too. I won't buy that, but John did get me those as a kind of as a surprise present. So I got my glass filled here with ice and um, put the lid on the shaker and we're going to give this a little shake. So stay tuned. Ready? Here we go. You just want to get super cold. So shake it for however long you like. Um, the good thing about that is when you strain it over fresh ice, then it's not quite as, as diluted. And uh, sometimes for me, it's kind of a guess with, with the uh, cocktail glass I'm using. So this one, I could have used a slightly smaller glass, but anyway, it's gonna be tasty. Let me throw my maraschino cherries in there and I will show you. So very pretty. Here's here's the maraschino cherries. You can see they're super, uh, super, super dark and they have a different texture to them as well. Really kind of just a little bit sweet. Um, I just, I like them. So I'm glad John got me that for a surprise. Um, let me have a taste here. Oh, that's heavy on the um, the bitters, um, but it's good. So in, in this one, it's, you know, you got the uh, sweetness uh, is coming from the maple syrup. So it's a, a good combination. Uh, it's well balanced. Um, kind of get you ready for fall a little bit with the maple in there. So uh, uh, guys, just remind you where you can find me um, at uh, meatsbeatsandbubbles.com. And then everywhere else you'll find me, Meats, Beats, and Bubbles. Um, that you'll find me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Pinterest. Oh, and YouTube. That's where I put all the videos. So you can go there and you know, see some of the other shenanigans that we've been up to. So uh, anyway, I am going to go sit down and relax, probably put my pajamas on and finish my cocktail. So uh, guys, I'll make another one. If you have a suggestion of something you want me to make, um, just, you know, put it in the comments on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, any of those places. Just say, hey, would you make this? And you know, I'm happy to do it if I have the ingredients. So guys, I will see you later. Until next time. Bye.